All right, I've been scammed. I literally have been scammed. I've been doing videos on YouTube for fragrances since 2012. This is my second channel, and since my first channel, and now, I've been doing this for over eight years. And this is the very first time, and I actually got scammed twice, that I ended up with fake fragrances. So today, I'm going to talk to you about one of the fake fragrances that I received. It is this one right here. Voice of the Snake from the House of Gucci. I have marked it in the back to indicate it's fake, but I can open it up and smell it, and it smells nothing like the fragrance. In fact, there really is no smell when I open it, but the real ones are here. Actually, this is an empty bottle, and this is full bottle, but these are the real thing, and this is the, the fake. So, there are three, and I know that this is a fake because the whole entire experience of this particular buying uh, of this fragrance has been fake. So I'm going to tell you all about what happened and how you guys can prevent yourself from buying fake fragrances. So if you're curious to watch this, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. Yep. I was scammed and actually I got scammed twice. I bought two bottles and you know, I was looking for deals online and uh, one of them ended up coming all the way from Russia of all places, Moscow. And that's, I'm not gonna talk about that one because it's being investigated, but this particular one came all the way from Australia. Um, it was a fragrance for $1.99 and re regularly these, these fragrances sell for $3.30. I thought, you know what, it's a good deal. I was out of my one bottle because I had lent it to a family member, they were using it. It's a long story, so I'm going to tell you all about it, but before we do that, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So during the pandemic, this was like back in June, I was looking for some deals online. I ordered two different fragrances. One was a Memo Paris fragrance and then this uh, Gucci, the voice of the snake uh, fragrance. So I ordered it and it took freaking so long. Two months in, I still hadn't received my, uh, my fragrance. So I use an American Express and I love using American Express and I highly recommend you guys that buy a lot of fragrances to use American Express because you're able to dispute these, uh, you know, these kind of incidences. So basically, the fragrance hadn't come in two months. I disputed it and I said, you know what, I don't have a fragrance. I don't know what to do about it. Uh, it seems like an odd uh, store. Please help. So basically, they removed the uh, item, uh, the charge, and they were investigating it. Like a week and a half later, I filed that. I got the package in. And I opened up the box, and this was in there. This is the box. And I first noticed that the cellophane that it was wrapped in was different, but I didn't think twice about it. So I immediately went and called American Express and said, finally, two, two and a half months later, I've got my fragrance, so please remove that dispute because, you know, I don't want to dispute something that I actually have the product to. Finally, a week later after that, I, I was going back to the, the package and I'm opening it up. And I'm thinking to myself, this doesn't feel right. I bought plenty of these fragrances. In fact, I pretty much own every single fragrance from the Alchemist collection. And this is not feeling right. So I opened it up and immediately the box is kind of feeling flimsy. It doesn't have the same quality of this box. When you can touch it, you can feel it. This seems softer and also a little thinner. And as you can see, the colors, they're so different. So, that, that's one step that I th started thinking, okay, this is really weird. Um, so when I took out the, the fragrance, it comes in a little um, cloth uh, baggie. And I'm, as soon as I touched it, I was like, this doesn't feel right. So um, it's like, okay, what is that all about? And then I noticed that it wasn't really perfectly trimmed. It has string on them. And I'm like, I've never noticed this because I've, I've had, like I said, every single one of these fragrances. And first of all, the material is noisier in comparison. So this is exactly the real stuff. And every single fragrance in the collection is this. On top of that, the, the coloring of the printing on the bag seems different. So one other thing, I did mention this already, the coloring on the boxes. The fake one seems lighter, 
the, the real one is darker, but it's reversed on the bottle. Whereas on the bottle, the real one is lighter, the fake one is darker or more golden colored. So that's on top of uh, what I'm noticing here. But in the end, when you look at the inside of the boxes, the real stuff is still very, very hardy. Like it's, it's strong and tough. This one, it's, it's kind of flimsy. And as you can see, the inside, this is the fake, this is the real. There's a thickness around the real stuff. And it actually feels like a coffin. And when you look inside at the bottom in the top corners, it seems clean. When you look at this, there's some white spots in the bottom and then on the top. It's almost like it's bad, bad packaging work. The other thing on the back, the numbers are a little different. So I was, you know, I was thinking, okay, this is, this does not feel right. I think I might've ended up with a fake. So I took out the box um, and I started smelling the fragrance and I'm like, well, first I did this and I'm like, what is this? It doesn't feel right. It doesn't smell right because as soon as you smell the cap with this, you can smell it. It's, it's, it's a dark oud with, um, to me, it smells like nutty, like it's got like nutty, woody kind of qualities. And the, the fake doesn't smell anything like it. And I was like, what? And uh, when I was uh, smelling it, I was like, I had already smelled a bunch of fragrances prior. So my nose was kind of burnt out. So I had to go immediately get some coffee beans to kind of like cleanse my palate and come back to it. And it's like, no, this is not, this is, this does not smell anything like it. So I had to dig out my other bottles and then I noticed that the, as I was saying, the actual printing on here is a little darker than the actual bottle. And when you look at the ribbons, the ribbons look different as well. So let me see if I don't drop this. So the ribbon seems a little thinner in the real bottles in comparison to the fake bottle. The fake bottle is the one in the middle here. And look at the ribbons, they look different. So. I'm like, no, I've never in eight years since 2012 been, uh, you know, bought a fake fragrance. And now I've all of a sudden ended up with two fake fragrances that took so long to receive. I I'm pissed. So I immediately called American Express back and I said, um, this is a fake fragrance and um, please give me a refund. Uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't co uh, contact this company and uh, they have my info because when I filed the dispute with them, and said I never received a fragrance, they were communicating with me saying, uh, well, we're sorry, let me let us investigate. So now uh, that I've refiled the dispute, they're gonna say, oh, okay, so what's wrong now? So the name of the company or how I bought this item is from a place called eCrater. And I guess it's like where you sell your things. It's almost like a Craigslist or eBay or something. And, uh, the name of the actual store is Aussie Clearance Store. So it came from Australia. Now, I, like I said, I've never had this happen, but I've seen multiple videos online throughout my history of doing YouTube videos on fragrances of people getting, uh, buying fake fragrances. I didn't realize the Gucci Alchemy collection or Alchemist collection was being faked, but it definitely is. And again, the Memo Paris fragrance that I bought also is being is a fake. So I, I highly recommend you guys uh, be careful with uh, buying uh, fragrances, especially luxury ones. And I think those are the ones that are really uh, being, um, you know, faked. So, I mean, if you buy enough fragrances, you know that real fragrances versus fake fragrances. As I said, I have bought plenty of these Gucci Alchemist fragrances that I knew that something was off as soon as I, you know, sensed that cellophane um, plastic on the box. I was like, this does not feel right. But I, you know, I, I thought about it and I didn't even think about it and put it away for a week because what happened was when my fragrance didn't come two months after, I ended up ordering another bottle from a legitimate source because, you know, I was waiting for my fragrance to come. Uh, it didn't come. So now, I, luckily I have a real one here and then and the fake one. So this will be a great <laughs> collector's item to have uh, to show somebody if they can figure it out. Because as I said, the fragrance here doesn't smell anything like this. I don't know what they have in here, but when you put it on, it's like there's some light rosiness, but it's almost like there's no real rose mentioned in the notes here. So why would there be rose in here? 
And again, it's hardly any scent there. It almost feels like you're, it's a factice where there's like they put a factice is a bottle where they have fake juice in it, but it's to it's to use as a display mostly. So it's almost like it doesn't have any smell. It smells kind of like just just water almost with like light essence. So they thought they were going to get away with me, uh, you know, buying a real fragrance. But with my expertise on fragrances, I mean. It, Obviously, now we have a fake and I've got my dispute on American Express. Now, I did tell American Express I do fragrance reviews and I will do a video of uh, this particular fragrance and let everybody know that it's a fake and proof with my real bottle and the fake bottle. So I will definitely send this video to uh, American Express so that they can see that I'm not pulling their leg and claiming that something is fake when it um, it's not, but it is obviously here in this case. And as I said, now I have an empty bottle here, a real bottle here, and a fake bottle here. And it's so obvious. I mean, the, the, the little details is what it is. When I saw the string on my, on this particular baggie, I was like, this is not real. I mean, this is, I mean, why would they even leave this like this? It's strange. It's like, no. I mean, this is a luxury house. Gucci is luxury. And this, this cheap printing job they did, it's not even centered. The print work is not centered. You kind of have to like move it around. It's really fake. And then even uh, when you compare the, the actual material and the real stuff, the noise, they're just different materials. So be careful out there. Uh, don't buy things from uh, unreliable sources. And I think I, I will stop after this to go to places like eCrater when people that list fragrances there are selling fakes. That's really bad. And I'm glad I was able to catch it and I had experience with the other fragrances. But if I didn't, I would have probably thought twice. I mean, I would have said, this doesn't smell like anything that I like. But you know what? Going out there and smelling enough fragrances, you get to know what fragrances smell like and don't. So be careful out there. And always, always use an American Express. I mean, uh, be friends with your American Express uh, people and be friends with sales associates as well. But just uh, use a credit card that you can actually dispute fake for, uh, products. And this definitely, this bottle is definitely fake. And I'm so disappointed that I'm actually trying to, you know, be taken advantage of with buying a fake fragrance. Anyway, let me know your thoughts, guys. Do you Have you ever bought a fragrance that was actually a fake, like literally a fake? I mean, a lot of people claim that there there's fakes out there, even though the fragrances smell like the same. But when I compare these two, there doesn't smell like anything like a fragrance. In fact, it smells like just water with a little essence. But let me know if you've had this issue, if you've bought a fake fragrance. I personally think that Regular fragrances, uh, you know, like standard fragrances and signature collections are not as faked as luxury fragrances are personally, but I'm sure those are done as well. And just, just be careful. Like I said, buy it, buy it with a credit card that you can contact if you, and, and dispute um, if you end up with a fra fake fragrance like I did today. Anyway, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please put a comment down and let me know, as I said, if you've ever had a experience where you ended up with a fake fragrance and what happened. Were you able to dispute it? Were you able to get your money back? Or were you able to get a refund from credit card or the place you bought it from? Please let me know, put some comments down. Now, I personally never contacted eCrater or this place or the woman that was communicating with me when I had first filed my dispute for uh, not receiving the product, but uh, I could always do that, but I immediately go to my credit card. American Express is always good with that kind of stuff. So I let them deal with the fake, uh, you know, the fake um, product or if I have any issues with items that I've bought or never received, they handle it for me. But in this case, as I said, I'm going to send this video to them so they can see proof of how the items are different. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.